broadcasting, and viewers like you. And by Delta Airlines, because learning about our world is important for kids everywhere. Delta Airlines, you'll love the way we fly. All these people want to know. Where in the world is Cardinal San Diego? And one of these gumshoes could find her. His father's from Puerto Rico, and he enjoys video games and drawing. Meet Antonio Silva. She's traveled in the eastern U.S. and likes computers. Meet Christy Williams. He's seen the Mona Lisa in Paris and plays the mandolin. Meet Jonathan Messino. And here's every senior agent in charge of training new recruits. Antonio, nice to see you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, listen, they're with me every day. Rack a <laughs> Quick reminder for you guys, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So, Chief, who are we after? This is Contessa. Contessa. A well-dressed pest with a taste for the best. Her last known whereabouts... <laughs> Buenos Aires, Argentina. Since 1894, Argentine presidents have lived in La Casa Rosada, or Pink House. Some say the palace was painted pink to set it apart from the U.S. White House. Others say pink was one of the few colors available back then. It was made by mixing beef blood with lime. Either way, La Casa Rosada is a symbol of Argentine government. Traditionally, the country's leaders addressed the nation from the balcony of this proud pink palace. Or they did, until today. Oh, no. When Contessa breezed into Buenos Aires and cased the casa, she rounded up a herd of that famous Argentine beef. <laughs> then stampeded the palace to places unknown. Now she's flying the flag of treason and laughing all the way to the pompous. Gumshoes, you must conclude today's conundrum. <laughs> In Casa Emergency, call 911. Oh, yeah. I got you. Okay, guys, trying to find the Contessa in La Casa Rosada to help you out. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. There they are. Anytime you answer your question correctly, going to give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? So let's get things started then with our very first clue, which comes to us from the Acme Crime Net computer. Let's boot this baby up. Uh-huh. Well, hey, now look at this, huh? This is half croissant and half pretzel. Let me. Mmm, it's very good. Merci. Mm hmm. On your side. Very good. Danke. Mm hmm. Oh, wait a minute. It's bilingual, too, huh? Merci. Danke. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I've been a detective long enough to know what that means. Contessa must be in a French region that's across the Rhine River from Germany. Wars have caused the area to change hands between Germany and France four times in the past 123 years. So, locals there speak both French and German. Merci. Danke. You know what I mean? Sometimes in the same sentence. And they enjoy French and German foods. My question is simply this. Do I put mustard on this or jam? <laughs> sure, that was very funny. I guess it was. Gumshoes, name the region, if you will, please. Is it Alsace, Savoy, or Bordeaux? I mean, the clues that we heard in France, across the Rhine River from Germany, and mix of French and German culture. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Trying to find Contessa and La Casa Rosada. Jonathan is ready. Christy is, uh, Antonio is ready too. So is Christy. Jonathan, what do you say, buddy? I chose Alsace. Alsace. What do you think, uh, Christy? Bordeaux. What do you think, Antonio? Bordeaux. Bordeaux. The answer we're looking for is Alsace. Nice job, Jonathan. Okay, nice job, guys. For our next clue, let's go to a guy who was really a great detective back in his day, my dad, Gus Lee. Dad? Ah, howdy, son. All set to be on your big radio show. Oh, there, Nellie. Ah! <clears throat> just, just walk on over to your office. Ah! You know, I've wanted to be a radio star ever since Orson Welles scared the dickens out of me back in 38. Boo! Ah! Anyway, here's the clue. Go to an African nation south of the Cameroon. Nobel Peace Prize winner Alfred Schweitzer founded a hospital there. Bing, bing! Dr. Schweitzer, Dr. Schweitzer, bing, bing! Back when the country was just a colony, part of French Equatorial Africa. 
Yeah, I did. That was very nice. Thank you very well, much. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate that, son. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll be heading on back outside. Ah! Whoa! It's nasty out here. Wait a second. I cut tape. I, I don't know what happened. I... Well, he's a man of many talents. Thanks a lot, Dad. Okay, guys, name the country where the Contessa has taken La Casa Rosada. Is it Nigeria, Kenya, or Gabon? Remember the clues that we heard? Located south of Cameroon, formerly a part of French Equatorial Africa, and Albert Schweitzer. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Trying to find Contessa and La Casa Rosada. Jonathan is ready. So is Christy. So is Antonio. Jonathan, what do you say, buddy? I chose Gabon. Gabon, what do you think, Christy? Nigeria. Nigeria. Antonio? Just Kenya. Kenya, the answer we're looking for is Gabon. Nice job, Jonathan. Okay, guys, now it's time for one of my most favorite parts of the show, the lightning round. Ah! 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 Woo! That one got pretty close. Uh, as you know, guys, <laughs> these are all worth five Acme Crime Bucks, and uh, we need to let you know that the Contessa has just, uh, this is kind of hard to read, sorry. Uh, this one has just gone, uh, the Contessa has just gone uh, to Russia, so all these questions are about, <laughs> yeah, all these questions are about, uh, what did I say, Russia. Okay, so hands on your buttons, listen very carefully. <sighs> Here we go. First question, Russian school children celebrate their first day back to school by bringing something to their teachers. Is it bushels of apples, bouquets of flowers, or an ice cube with an ant in it? Antonio. Um, A. Uh, bushels of apples is not the answer we're looking for, sorry. Jonathan. Bushels of flowers? Is, bouquets of flowers is right, nice job, five for you. Here's the next question, guys. Russia's grandfather Frost is much like our Santa Claus, red suit, white beard and all, but who helps out this Russian Santa? Is it the Snow Maiden, the Ice Capade, or two elves named Marx and Lenin? Christy. A. The Snow Maiden is right. Nice job. Five for you, Christy. Here's the last question, guys. Kids with colds in Russia are sometimes served a thick custardy drink as a remedy. Is the drink called Gogol? Uh, let's see how does this go? Gogol Mogul? Is that right? Gogol Mogul? Yoo Hoo? Is that how I say that? Yes? Or Juicy Juice. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, Christy. A. Uh, Gogol Mogul. Is that how I say that? Yes. And that's the correct answer. Very good. <laughs> and it's Juicy Juicy is what I just found out. So, nice job, guys. Now it's time for my quick meeting with the Chief. I will meet you guys in the alley in just a quick, quick minute or two. Don't go away. You guys can come. Here we go. Oh, Greg. How's the investigation? Uh, it, it's fine. Good. I guess. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Greg, it's very irritating. Why don't you go do something, you know, productive, like uh, uh, do the contest, huh? Okay. Uh, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here are the winners for today. Congratulations to the winners. Uh, Chief. Yeah. Uh, have you noticed anything different about yourself today? Gee, I don't know. Oh, here, just... I don't think so. Just, Why? You just have to take a look there. Oh, my goodness! Oh, what? Why didn't anybody tell me? Well, you know, I didn't know quite how. Oh, I have no idea. My lipstick was so smeared. This no, no, is no, no, terrible. No, no. Chief, I'm sorry. That wasn't exactly what I, what I meant. I wasn't talking about that. You know what? I don't know quite how to tell you this, Chief, but you've turned into a can of cling peaches. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Well, you know what? Now that you mention it, mm. I do think I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't let it bother mm. you, Chief. You know, most cans of cling peaches live happy, productive lives. Just stay away from can openers. Oh, I am so embarrassed. Well, besides, probably pass quickly. Matter of fact, as soon as we uh, see you next time, I bet you'll all, all be gone. Yeah. yeah. I still, you know, I'm not sure I really see what he means, but I do have this strange craving for cottage cheese, small curd, creamy style. 
Okay, come shoes. Now it's time for our training exercise. Yes, that's right. Come right this way. Everybody pick a trash can. The way this is going to work is you guys are going to help me find clues. They're going to help us find our crook. And as we say here, what better place to find those clues than right here in the trash can? Here's how it's going to work. You guys are going to lift off the top of your trash can lid like this. Merci. Danke. Thank you very much. Merci. Good. Danke. Get that wrap back around. We're learning, aren't we? Okay, you'll come down here. You'll find the. Uh, that was good. You'll find the uh, card. It'll have the flag of the country we're looking for on one side. It'll have the clue on the other side. Okay. And then to finish your assignment, you have to take the uh, lid and place it back on top of the trash can. Don't forget that part. Okay. Let's see how fast you guys can do this thing. On your mark. Get set. Go. Cheer them on, guys. Cheer them on. Trying to find those clues. All right. All right. All right. Don't forget to put the lid back on. Put the lid back on. One. That's good. Put the lid back on. Hurry. Two. And there's three. Nice job, everybody. So, Jonathan, we'll start with you. Then we'll come to Christy, then Antonio. Jonathan, what does your card say on the other side there? Money. Money. Okay, I can tell you the currency of this country is the cologne. Okay, uh, Christy, what does your say? Capital. Capital. I can tell you the capital of this country is San Jose. Antonio, what does your say? Language. I can tell you the official language of this country is Spanish. So, Jonathan, you get first crack at this since you finished the assignment first. Are we talking about Costa Rica, Haiti, or Colombia? Costa Rica? Is right. Nice job, buddy. Ten crime bucks for you. Very good. Okay, that means we have something coming in from Acme Budnet. Let's check the phone tap. Contessa, head for Kanaima National Park in a country on the Caribbean Sea. The park inspired Arthur Conan Doyle to write his famous book, The Lost World. Lost World? Oh, I don't think I'm going to like this. The park's flat-topped mountains have a very isolated, unusual environment, so the wildlife on them is unlike anywhere else on Earth. Strange wildlife. Oh, I know I'm not going to like this. But Contessa, you'll get to see black toads that roll instead of hop, slimy frogs that walk instead of jump, even plants that eat insects alive. <laughs> oh, Carmen, darling, if I wanted to see nature, I'd turn on PBS. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please, where the Contessa has taken La Casa Rosada. Is it Venezuela, Ecuador, or Costa Rica? Remember the clues that we heard on the Caribbean Sea, Canaima National Park, and unique wildlife. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. You guys have been pretty fast so far, and you're still pretty fast. Antonio's ready, so is Jonathan, so is Christy. Jonathan, what do you say? I chose Venezuela. Venezuela. Christy? Ecuador. Ecuador. Antonio? Ecuador. Ecuador. The answer we're looking for is Venezuela. Nice job, Jonathan. Okay, let's recap some scores real quick. Jonathan's up to 95, Christy has 60, Antonio 50, Acme Crime Bucks. But good news, the Contessa has just left Venezuela, so let's pick up the chase. Ah, ah, thank you. <laughs> All these are with five Acme Crime Bucks, you guys. Hands on your buzzers, watch the monitor. Got a little something on there. Listen carefully, here we go. Contessa carted the casa to Sweden's capital. Name the city, Jonathan. Um, Oslo? Sorry, it's Stockholm. Then she flew first class to Tallinn, Estonia. What sea did she cross? Christy. North. Sorry, it's the Baltic Sea. From Estonia, she waltzed across the border south. What country is she in, Jonathan? Latvia. Uh, Latvia is right. Next, Contessa careened into the capital of Belarus. Name it. Antonio. Um, Brussels. Sorry, it's Minsk. Then she caught a cruise ship to the port of Gdansk. What country is she in now, Jonathan? Poland. Yes, that's right. That means at the end of that round, Jonathan has 105, Christy 60, Antonio 50. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. And just a quick reminder, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. That's just what I said. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, another quick reminder here. This is the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Because here's a portion of the world where we think the Contessa is headed. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready for our final clue, guys. We go to Acme Chiffon Net Agents, the Acmets. Ladies. Long gone casa, Contessa's got a long gone casa. Gotta find that long gone casa, looking for it. Long gone, long gone. Let me tell you about Contessa. She's in a city on a harbor in South Carolina where she's hiding low. There's an arts festival called Spoleto. If you 
Just music and dance and party plans. It goes on for almost three, three whole weeks. People come from all around the world to see the artist in the opera and the plays. The music goes on for days and days. If you want a great show, then it's for little. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Thank you, ladies. Very nice. Gum Susan, name the city where the Contessa has gone now. Is it Raleigh, Charleston, or Savannah? Remember the clues that we heard in South Carolina on a Harbor and Spoleto Arts Festival. This is the final clue this round, you guys. So once you're ready, put those answers down right there in front of you. Christy's ready, so is Jonathan. Antonio still thinking about it right now, and now he's ready. Antonio, going to start with you. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say, Antonio? Raleigh, Raleigh. The answer we're looking for was Charleston. Sorry about that. You're going to go down 30 Acme Crime Bucks. Uh, but the audience is here to help out, so we'll see what happens next. Christy, you have 60 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I wagered 30 Crime Bucks. 30 Crime Bucks. And what'd you say? I said Charleston. Charleston is right. Nice job, Christy. Goes up 30. Jonathan, you have 105. How much did you risk, buddy? I risked 10 Crime Bucks. 10 Crime Bucks. What'd you say? Raleigh. Raleigh is not right. You're going to go down 10, but you still have enough. Jonathan and Christy going on to the next round. Congratulations, guys. Antonio, buddy, you're in this thing to the very last. Nice job. Got some great stuff for you. Chief, that royal heinous Contessa can be a royal pain to catch. But I'm proud you never gave up the chase. That kind of perseverance deserves something special, like this official Acme gumshoe gear. It includes an atlas, this cool crime net cap with the Acme logo in front, the official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, and our new Acme Stealth Pen Quarter. See, it writes just like a regular pen, and it has a built-in digital recorder. Remember, Chief, congratulate the gumshoe. I was getting to that. Congratulations, gumshoe! Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, the Contessa is headed to South Carolina. we got to get there fast, so we're going to modem ourselves there. The way we do this is take a deep breath, hold as long as Greg, possible. Greg, yeah. are you and the gumshoes ready to modem? We're ready, Chief. Let's do it. Whoa! Almost didn't make it, man. Okay, let's walk this way. Go this way. Okay, Gumshoes, you're going here, I'm here. The Chief will be here in just a couple of minutes with some very important information, so listen very carefully. Chief, what do you have for us? Okay, there are 15 places here in South Carolina where you might find the Contessa, the Warrant, or La Casa Rosada. Let's look at a few of them. Begin your search at Hilton Head. It's one of the most popular resort areas in the eastern U.S. Contessa may go to one of the many golf courses there so she can work on her putts. Now, here's a unique event. The Balloon Deflation Invitational. The balloons start out about a thousand feet up, then drop to the ground where waiting teams race to deflate them. Next, scan the spectrum of homes on Rainbow Row. Fourteen houses, each a different color. If you happen to see two pink houses, you can be sure one of them is La Casa Rosada. Finally, gumshoes, don't miss the graduation ceremonies at Acme Pants Bleaching School. Students used to bleach their whole uniform, but then it snowed one day and we lost the whole class. But this is no time to be worrying about a whiter, brighter wash. Hamper the Contessa, put her through the ringer, then put her to work in the prison laundry. Thanks a lot, Chief. As you guys know how this works, loot, warrant, and crook. Jonathan, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Mm, Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head Island. La Casa Rosada. Wow, nice job. You got the uh, loot, you get a free turn. Go ahead, Jonathan. Mongolia Plantation. Magnolia Plantation. Whoa. Nothing there, but you found the loot. Nice job. We turned both of them back around. Christy, your turn. Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head Island. House Pink House. Go ahead, Spoleto Christy. Festival U USA. Uh, Spoleto Festival USA. Contessa. Very interesting. You have the loot and the Contessa. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant and then crook. So be careful, Christy. Clemson University. Clemson University. Hold the tiger. Hold the tiger. 
<laughs> Nothing there. We turn all three back around. And a little something special from the boys. Go ahead, Hilton Johnny. Hilton Head Island. What'd you say? Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head Island. Cup Casa. Go ahead, Jonathan. Catfish Row. Catfish Row. No, but no. <laughs> Nothing there. We turn both of them back around. Christy, your turn. Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head Island. Perlin Palace. Go ahead, Christy. Stock Car Hall of Fame. Ah, yes, the Stock Car Hall of Fame, world's biggest stock car collection. Let's see it. Stock Car Hall of Fame. Gentlemen, there's nothing here. <laughs> Didn't get it, but it was a nice one. Turn both of them back around. Jonathan, your turn. Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head Island. Pretty Pink. Go ahead, Jonathan. Stump House Tunnel. Stump House Tunnel. I think there we turn both of them back around. Christy, your turn. Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head Island. Missing Mansion. Go ahead, Christy. PD River. PD River. The Warrant. You have the loot and the warrant. Can you find Contessa? Spoleto Festival USA. Is she still at the Spoleto Festival USA? Yeah! Contessa! You won! You know what to do? Nice job, Christy. Stay right there. We'll talk to you just a little bit. First off, hey, man, nice work. You did some great stuff for us. Got some great stuff for you. Chief. There's no denying the important help you gave us today. Without your hard work, that crook might still be free. In honor of your achievements, you'll receive this terrific Acme gumshoe gear. Plus, two of these amazing Acme secret senders. Then you and a friend can secretly communicate through the air. Just type in your message, press this button, and zap! It appears on the other secret sender. It's also a pocket organizer and a control for your TV and VCR. From all of us at Acme, congratulations. Thanks a lot, Chief. All right, here is your portfolio with a piece of paper and a penny inside. What I want you to do is write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. Ragapella, start the song, boys. <laughs> Okay, now all we need is that phone call, and it comes right about now. Right on cue. Yes? Yes, yeah, she's right here. Hold on. This prison food is so dreadfully boring. I can't even get a jar of Grey Poupon. Maybe Carmen could help, but she's in South America. Go find her. Okay, now we know where we're going. Let's get some more information from the chief. Chief! Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. French Guiana. Uruguay, Suriname, Paraguay, Paraná River, Guyana, Argentina, Lake Titicaca, Venezuela, Chile, Colombia, Orinoco River, Ecuador. Craig, let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> You, you know what you're doing, right? Yes. You know, of course you do. Yeah, let me explain for those who may not know. What you're going to have to do is identify eight locations in 45 seconds. When you are right, you'll hear this sound. <laughs> when you're wrong, though, you'll hear this sound. <laughs> if you're wrong two times, don't worry about it. Leave the marker where it is. We'll continue on from there. But if you are right eight times in 45 seconds, you're going to get that trip. And that's a good thing, correct? Yes. How long have you been studying for this thing, by the way? Two weeks. Weeks, yes, this could be a good one, folks. This could be good. Remember this, when you see one of these, we're talking about a body of water, okay? So that will help you out with that. Any other questions? No. You ready to do this thing? Yes. You guys think she can do it? Yeah! All right, Christy, come on, let's come out here and do this thing. Hold that for me, if you would, please. Marker in your hand, 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you, Christy. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Come to Paramaribo, Suriname, Suriname, Suriname. Do it, buddy. Try it again, try it again, Suriname. Yeah, let's go, come on. Guyana, Georgetown, Guyana. Guyana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paraguay, Asuncion, Paraguay. Paraguay, go, buddy, go. Paraguay. Try it again, try it again. Paraguay, Paraguay, Paraguay. Come on, let's go, come on. Colombia, Colombia, Medellin, Colombia. You know it. Yeah, here we go. Quito, Ecuador, Ecuador. You know it, let's go, buddy. Try it again, try it again, try it again, try it again, try it again. Ecuador, do it. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Venezuela, 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 Las Esmeralda, Venezuela. Yes, Lake Titicaca, Lake Titicaca, Lake, Lake Titicaca, yes. Montevideo, Uruguay, Uruguay, go, Uruguay, Uruguay, go, go. Oh. She didn't make it, seven and 45 seconds. Give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Oh.
Let me tell you something. You picked up so much speed at the end of that thing. I thought you were going to pull it off. It just wasn't quite fast enough at the beginning, but you did some great stuff for us today. Chief, what do you have for him? Darn that Carmen. She can be really tough to catch. But we're all very proud of the skill you showed today, and we've got just the gift for a gumshoe on the go. This Acme Pocket Color Television with an active matrix screen. Just think, the next time you're stuck on an all-night stakeout, you won't have to miss your favorite shows. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Not bad, buddy. Not bad at all. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. Do it, Rockefeller! Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filcher from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me, bear! San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. Everything that it comes right off the From the Red Sea to Greenland, they'll be singing the blues. Well, they never ask and saw her steal. The we come from the jungle, tell me. And remember, the Acme Triangle of Excellence. Vigilance, dedication, courage. Put your hands up. Give a little jump. Put your hands up. Give a little jump. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. And by Delta Air.